The 20 kids who took the Tower Road bus bypassed their neighborhood school in Brandywine to integrate Crestview Elementary in Clinton miles away. Carmelita Conti was one of those bus students. They definitely didn't want us there. And we didn't really want to be there. She says as a third grader in 1973, she didn't understand why it was happening. And I remember the student calling me the N-word and me thinking, I'd never had anybody say that to me before. Conti is among those in the Tower Road Bus documentary, written and directed by former classmate Michael Streisguth, who was in third grade at Crestview when the school was integrated. I wasn't understanding the, the larger political context of this, that a court had said this integration needs to happen and it needs to happen now. He says there were widespread anti-busing protests happening in the county. These stories needed to be told. Um, the stories of people who were on the front lines of school integration. Susie Proctor and Courtney Pringle were both teachers at Crestview and worked to make integration a success. All of the children, they saw it in different ways and some of it was not positive, of course. The, the environment was not necessarily inviting at the time for so many. School principal Dotson Burns Jr. is the main character in the film, a trailblazer who maintained calm in unsettling times. Conti says the message in the documentary is timely given the continued push for justice. The concept of race theory and critical race and um, racial injustice, you would think 50 years later we had an answer to it. We don't. In Bowie, Darcy Spencer, News 4. The documentary, by the way, is being screened at Bowie State University today, followed by a panel discussion with the director, former students, and staff.